Hey everybody, Jake here, and today we're going to take a look at another ink. Today it's going to be Blackstone Blue Gum. Um, this is the first Blackstone ink that I've tried, and I really, really like it to be honest. Um, I, I will say something real quick. If you notice the video is looking a little warmer than normal, um, I'm trying to get as close to this color as I can to get an accurate representation for all of you. However, it's going to look a bit more blue than the actual ink does. I need you to keep that in mind. Um, I apologize. I've This is the second time I've shot this video. I've tried color correcting it, and for some reason, this shade is just not showing up. Um, but I, I have some comparisons to give you a bit of a frame of reference. But let's go ahead and go over the bottle first. So, fairly small bottle here. It's 30 milliliters. I believe these are around $12 or so. This is actually a scented ink. It smells a lot like mint, almost. Uh, very, but very plain, kind of just regular plastic bottle. Um, you know, just a sticker on label, made in Australia, and there's their website, blackstoneink.com. Um, this is Polylab on the bottle, five reuses, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, um, I do want to touch on a few things for this. Um, I'm not going to uncap this ink for good reason. I'll explain that in just a moment. But you can see that dark circle right there. That's about as wide as the neck is. So it's a pretty wide neck. It can fit most pens. I haven't had any issues filling this. And because of how wide it is, I don't think you'd struggle too much to get most of this ink out of there. However, I want you to notice the thread right there in the middle is very, very blue-green. Um, that is because when you uncap this, if there's any ink on the cap itself, when you put it back on, it's going to run down those threads. The first time I shot this video, this ink actually came out the side and spilled all over my fingers. So please be very, very careful when you are opening and closing these ink bottles. The They come with a little... Um, foil seal over the top that's probably part of the reason why now once you cap it you know it's secure the ink's not gonna you know come out or anything but just keep that in mind when you are using this this is not one i would carry with me for travel or anything like that or if so maybe transfer it over to another bottle that you know is going to work just a bit better let's go and take a look at the ink so here is an ink swatch of blackstone blue gum again this ink is just a bit more blue on camera than it is in real life. Um, you actually can't see that much green at all in the uh, camera shot that I'm seeing here, but there's a decent bit of green in real life. Honestly, it reminds me a lot of Emerald of Shavor, and I will have that comparison as well. I'm not sure if it's just this phone, the way it shoots the video, but it's not picking up this green shade. But it's, it's very nice. You do get some def definite red sheening. It's not a ton. It's not like, you know, diamond skull and roses or anything, but there's definitely some there. And you can see it has pretty good shading as well. Let's go ahead and compare it to a few other inks. So there's Blackstone Blue Gum. Here it is next to J. Urban Emerald of Shavor. And again, the base color is pretty close. I know it's very difficult to see that, but it is fairly close. Um, however, it doesn't have the quite the level of sheening and uh, sh shimmer as the J. Urban. Here it is next to Organic Studio Ernest Hemingway Sea Blue, Santiago Sea Blue. Again, somewhat close in color, honestly. Um, it's not super, super close, but it is. there's definitely some comparison. And this ink is a bit bluer than Henry David Thoreau Walden Pond Blue. Um, I will say this is a very green ink. This is a lot more like a turquoise or a teal. I mean, it doesn't, it's not quite the navy that it's showing up on camera as. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at a writing sample. Kind of show you what this ink looks like. And today I have it in my Pelican M805 Ocean Swirl with a medium nib that writes like a triple broad. All right, let's see. This ink smells really, really good. Blackstone Blue Gum. And it's, it's a fairly wet ink. I've used it in a couple of pens so far. It's very, very wet in this pen. But in general, it's just a, it's a very, very wet ink. And I really, really like the color a lot. And again, you can, you can smell it as you're writing with it. Now, unlike a lot of scented inks, this smell isn't going to stick around very long. Like, it's not going to be stuck to the paper. So if you're going to write letters with the intention of someone opening it up and going, oh, that smells minty. 
this is not what you want to do. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at some dry times as well. And again, these are going to be a little bit rough just because of how wet this pen is. But this ink is also fairly wet. One, three, five, seven, and ten. So you can see it is getting a bit drier. Um, on this Rhodia dot pad paper here, it would probably take, I would guess, about 20, 25 seconds to dry. Um, again, but partial because of the pen. If you're right with this with a fine nib, it's going to dry quite a bit faster. But you can see here, um, as it dries, you're definitely going to get some of that sheening. Not a ton of it, but it's mostly around the edges of letters and stuff like that. But it's a very, very nice base ink color as well. I, I like it quite a bit. There will be another Blackstone ink review coming up here fairly soon, so keep an eye out for that. If you have any questions about this ink or any of the other inks, or if you would like for me to do an ink comparison or something like that, just let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget, you have two more days to enter that giveaway. It's on the channel, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Go check it out. Some really cool stuff you can win. Feel free to enter. There's nothing, no real hoops to jump through. You just got to be a subscriber. Leave a comment about which, which uh, prize you want. But go check that out. Again, two more days at 11.59 on Eastern Standard Time on the 18th of January. I will be drawing names. So keep that in mind. Make sure you get in before the deadline. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.